The run for ball. The run for ball sh In terms of Britain's next heavyweight, the likes of Itumas. Jonathan. Sonny. How are you? I'm good, mate. How are you? There's nowhere else to start. I never had you down as a man who grew a mallet. Do you not like it? I do like it. Yeah. I think it's got... What it is, basically, I've got a massive back of my head, like a Godzilla head. And I used to have the old skin fade. And it looked like I had Mount Everest on the back of my head. I thought, just to grow something over the back of it. I'm all on board. Right. Cheers. So you're fighting Dave Allen, yep. December the 21st, on the Fury Usyk 2 card. Yep. How excited are you? Very excited, mate. Obviously had a few setbacks with the injury and a few cancelled dates and what better card to be on to, to save it all and the Fury Usyk undercard against one of my, my lifetime heroes and someone that I've shared the ring with before and sparred when I was at the beginning of my career. Brilliant stuff. Right, so you've got an uphill battle before that. Right. You've got to beat the mean tweeters. The mean messages, right. they've yep. been coming in in their floods, put them in their place today, right. So the first one is from Gorgeous Mike. Let's be honest, he cares more about fame and chicken balls than he does his boxing career. He's probably not wrong about the chicken balls, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Like, I'd rather eat a chicken ball than get punched in the face. Do you agree? I agree, yeah. Mike, so you have got a yeah. massive profile now. Yeah, yeah. How do you separate that massive profile outside of the ring with your boxing? Is it hard to separate the two? Because you've got a kind of celebrity lifestyle going on at the minute. Not a celebrity lifestyle. It's not. People no. think it is, but I still pick the dog's mess up in the morning in the garden and I'm still like washing everything down in the kitchen like normal. I'm just, I'm, I'm normal. My big John might be different. He's the one who's living the, the lavish lifestyle, off in Sydney and over in New Zealand at the minute. But for me, I'm, I'm just a normal, living a normal lifestyle and that's how it always will be. Right. This one is from The Big Dipper. 99. What's happening, mate? He says, I'd rather Big John land on me from a great height than take a punch off this man. That's actually a compliment. That is a compliment. Thanks. I wasn't expecting that, but is he bloody bonkers or something? <laughs> big John landing from a height. I might create a little earthquake. Big up, Big John. Sorry, yeah. Big John, if you're listening, but uh, I didn't say it. it was the Big Dipper. Anyway, <laughs> so this is a fan question on top of that. Basically, people want to know punching power. Who is the hardest you've been punched by, whether in the ring or whether in sparring? Daniel Dubois, Daniel by Dubois. far. His jab is like a right hand, and his right hand sent like an electric shock is the only thing I can describe it as down my body. I was still there, I was still, my faculties were still there, but I was thinking, if he lands two or three of them on me, um, it's game over, and he's very, very powerful. Got a lot of time for Daniel whenever I've been around him. He's, he's a really nice lad, and um, yeah, I've, he's doing amazing things, so big up him. Right, this one is from Yellow Kip 95 okay. All he does is say Bosch, but he can't box for Tosh. I do say Bosch a lot. I'm more of a fighter at the minute than a boxer, to be fair. But yeah, I don't, I don't disagree. So Yellow Kip, he ain't on the Fisher train at the minute, but we might be able to get him on there at some point. Most people know your story as you had a few amateur fights and then you turned pro. Yeah. But could you tell people the extent of your experience? I had sick, I had a lot of the gym shows when I was like from five or six years old up to about 10, 11, I think you can have gym shows, but then I had six junior fights um, from the, all when I was about 11 to 14. So I had one at the, started at a five star box at Hornchurch in Elm Park, but that was all before I was 14, 15 years old. Then I went to a new sixth form, they played rugby there. First game of rugby I played, broke my hand and I couldn't box for a couple of years, so I just played rugby, strapping it up. Went to Exeter University, played rugby there, and then started doing a bit of boxing for a bit of fitness. That's when I sparred the likes of Dave Allen, Joe Joyce, and then I had four, four senior amateur fights. So I've had 10 in total in my life. That's all I've had. This one is from 0292 Donald. People are getting too high on the run for ball after he beat Allen the Cabbage Babbage. Sorry, Babbage, by the way. Dave Allen's going to take him to deep waters and expose him. Would you say he could. That? He could take me to deep waters. That's what I've got to be. Uh, got to be expecting. I'm, People can get high about me beating Alan the Savage Babbage or the Cabbage Babbage, if he might now be known. Big respect to Alan. I wouldn't call him that. No, I wouldn't either. But um, yeah, Dave Allen could do that. And I'm not hyping myself up. It's just everyone else talking. I know what I am. I know how good I can be. And I'm just going to keep going. Dave's going to be a tough test and I'm going to try and 
punch him harder than he punches me. Love it. You have famously sparred him and you said you got walloped when I you did sparred get him. How long ago was that and how do you see it going different this time? It was 2019. I don't think I'd had any senior bouts then. I was just doing a bit of a bit of sparring for a bit of fun really to help my fitness and my boxing and to say I've sparred these guys. And um, yeah, I've changed a lot since then. But the one thing I learned about myself in there is I've got the minerals, I've got the toughness to, to carry on, keep going. And I think Dave respected that as well because I did take a bit of a pace to Okay, from user 306721, he'll end up on Misfits soon. Sorry, Misfits, rather. He'll end up on Misfits soon. What do you say to that? Uh, I've got no plans to, unless they want to offer me and Big John a tag team in a reinforced ring so it doesn't collapse. Fair enough, let's move on from that one. Johnny's fought bin men and had three first round knockouts in his last four fights. It's terrible matchmaking. He's gained nothing in experience and when he finally comes up against a live opponent, he's going to come back to bite him. So this is an interesting one because yeah. as much as people want to see first round knockouts, it's not really doing you a great deal of favour in your career or, or is it? Um, what do you reckon? Listen, the, the way the human nature is, if I knock someone out in the first round, the opponent's rubbish. If I take, take them to points, I've got no power. There is no pleasing people sometimes. I remember when I, in my fifth fight when I broke my hand in the changing room and I fought the Spanish champion in Guema. Probably a bit too soon for me at that point anyway, regardless of the broken hand and I got cut. I was saying, this is far too soon for Johnny. We're knowing, like, he's, like you, you're rubbish, basically. So whatever I do, there's always going to be a problem. And I sympathise with the boys, like the, the top elite boys, like the Joshuas and the Furies and the Usics, because whatever they do, there's always going to be a problem. And it's a level I can only dream of getting to. But I think Babic was pre a pretty live opponent. 11 knockouts out of 12 fights. Harry Armstrong led a long, extensive amateur career and took me seven rounds uh, last year. And uh, Bezos. 10-1, and one. and now Dave Allen, who's got a resume that she's far better than my resume and he's never been knocked down, so that'll be a challenge in itself. So, yeah, I, I don't know what I've got to do, I don't know how good I am, but I'll just keep trying to do my best and I will still try and knock people out in the first round. The run for ball, the run for bullshit. <laughs> in terms of Britain's next heavyweight, <laughs> the likes of Itumas, the Wardleys, the Clarks, the Adelaides, the Dakers, I would put Johnny at the bottom of the pack. Fair enough, I did say I'm a cold night away in, Stuck, uh, in Stoke, so I am the bottom of the pack, but it's a bloody hard bottom of the pack, isn't it? They're, they're all good names, so there's no pressure on me, is there? Mm. All I've got to do is land these four knuckles on someone's chin, and I've got half a chance of knocking them out, so there's no pressure. But, uh, brilliant stuff, and uh, I bet you 10 quid you can't get Turkey to say Bosch. I'll get him to say Bosch, and I'll get him yeah. for a crispy aromatic duck at the Blue Orchid as well. Furious at two card, so against Dave Allen, enjoy it, mate.